Hello everyone and welcome back to So Kelly Rific. Today we are here at the Disneyland Resort. I was supposed to come tomorrow because magic happens. The parade is supposed to make its debut, but it is gonna be super rainy, so who knows if it's gonna happen. So I decided to come a day early with a little better weather. Um, it is pretty chilly though, but we're just gonna walk around, maybe look at some updates, see some merch, and see what else we do. So come along and let's go. Actually, it looks really pretty in the park today. The clouds look nice, the sky looks blue, right before the big storm that's about to come. So here in Toontown, Mickey's Runaway Railway is now standby. You don't have to make a virtual queue. Now when you come, you can just walk into Toontown. But the only thing is that the land is not completely open because it's gonna open on March 19th. All right, so now you can come access the Toontown grass right over here whenever you need a little break. Breather, it is accessible. You no longer need a virtual queue. Roger Rabbit is currently closed. It'll probably open when Toontown reopens as a whole on March 19th. But for now, you cannot ride this attraction. Wow, I guess they had some crazy crowds for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway because they have like all the line markers over here. There's so many amazing spots here to take a photo. I have so many from my childhood. For instance, this one. Um, it's kind of cool that you could just come in without a virtual queue and everyone could get their photos. All right, for old time's sake, let's try to do this. See if we can hear the fireworks. Oh my goodness. It's heavier than I remember. I need both my hands. Hold on. All right, here we go. Come on. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> remember, Two Town is so interactive. We got the camera shop. Can't see it on the camera. There is a flash, I promise. Also, another classic photo area is a dog pound. I bet you a lot of you guys have a lot of photos right here. All right, so the line doesn't look too long right now for Mickey's Runaway Railway. They don't even have like anyone, the extended outdoor queue. So that's a pretty good sign, especially because now it is just standby. All right, it does say the standby is 75 minutes. And just for those planning to visit, Toontown pushed back its reopening date to March 19th, which is a Sunday. So they are a little behind because of the storms of construction. So they did have to push that date back, but it'll be here soon enough. Okay, so I came to Batu. I like to come to Batu like midday. It's not that packed. And you come and just relax. And of course, when you need a little pick-me-up, I do recommend coming to Docking Bay 7 to get the cold brew black calf. But I do recommend mixing it. Like I said, I like my coffees a little on the sweeter side. So if you mix it, you get like that sweetness throughout. And it comes with cocoa puffs on top. It's just so good. I always come here if I need like a little pick-me-up. So I'm currently waiting for my sisters. This is my first time being in a theme park by myself. Like I said, I know it looks like I'm by myself, but I usually have my aunt with me or my sisters. But there was like rumors that Magic Happens might have soft open today. So I came earlier just in case, but it didn't, but it's okay. So I am waiting for them and we might head over to Disney's California Adventure. I haven't been to DCA since probably October. So it'll be nice, a little change of scenery. That's what I'm currently doing. Just relaxing in Batu, having a coffee and waiting for them to arrive. So the French market is officially closed because it will be transformed into Tiana's Palace. So you can no longer get your beignets here for now, but for the meantime, I'm gonna show you where you could get them in case you want that beignet fix because they are like a staple of Disneyland. So here at the Royal Street Veranda is where you could find the beignets. It's right next to like Pirates of the Caribbean. So this is the new temporary location. You could also mobile order them as well. The line is back over there. So just in case you want to just mobile order them, you can. But this is where you're going to find the beignets for the meantime. I recently saw on a Disney TikTok that they gave um, Tilly a makeover for the 100th. So of course I wanted to come see her new little outfit. She got a little makeover in her purple outfit. And she also got the new name tag with of course her favorite character being Mickey Mouse. <laughs> we also used to show her nails, but I guess now they put some gloves because sometimes her nails wouldn't be very manicured. Let's head into the Mad Hatter because I want to go in and see some of the newer ears that they got in. Okay, they did get these in a few days ago. They're so pretty. I actually really like these. These are $34.99, but I think they're really pretty. What do you guys think? And then they also have the Oswald ones and they have the headband too as well. I like the like the embroidery on the side, as well the lucky rabbit. 
I know you all probably seen it, but this is my first time seeing it in person. And this Oswald merch is pretty cool. I'm so glad he's finally having like a moment here. It seems like people really do like the merch. So I haven't been to California Adventure. Um, I wonder if they brought him back like as a character, just like in his regular attire, because they did get rid of him a few years ago. But I mean, he's super popular. I have seen a few people wearing his merch. So I hope they brought him back meeting guests. I know he was back for Lunar New Year, but I hope they brought him back in this little attire for the whole year. I'm sitting down, take a little break. There's Minnie, but oh my goodness, the crows are flying. <laughs> it sounds kind of scary. Reminded me of the movie The Birds over here. My sisters have arrived. Oh, oh say hi! <laughs> I was saying I was by myself. That was my first time being by myself. Wow. Oh, weird. I was calling everyone. <laughs> okay, so we made our way to Disney's California Adventure. My sisters here, and my other one as well. I haven't been here since Oogie Boogie, and you haven't been here in. A year to California Adventure. So of course we're gonna do some rides. Also we stopped by like Pacific Wharf, well, which was Pacific Wharf. They are reimagining it to be San Francisco. And already the bridge, you could tell it's being painted orange. So they are moving fast. Remember summer, you're gonna be able to meet Baymax. And also we're gonna have some new food, new theming. It's gonna be pretty awesome. But for now, we're waiting here at the Krenna Coaster. It's currently closed, but we're hoping it's gonna open up and we don't have to wait long. So, you think we'll do it? Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> You ready for Mickey and Minnie? Yes. Second time. Your first time? First time. <laughs> Thank you. 